fine, thanks you, and you? I'm doing well, thanks. <clears throat> I was looking at um, animals at uh, one of the pounds to, <laughs> I don't need any more animals, but I always like to look at them. <laughs> Oh, well, we all need more animals, don't we? I think so. I think so. I yeah. got two of them sleeping in here, and I don't think that they would appreciate having another one in the house, but maybe. All right. Yeah, I kind of know how you feel. I, apparently, it's animal day in some way. I don't know. But just this evening, uh, one of my cats fell ill. Oh. Like, we went uh, to, to take him to the vet with, with an emergency. Uh, but he's home now, but, you know, uh, stoned off his ass, of course. So. <laughs> So he's probably yeah. feeling a-okay then. I hope he does. <laughs> oh, did you get good news? Do you know what's going on with him yet? Yeah, you know, he's, 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 it's, it's, it's a male. So, you know, they, they usually have this bladder problem. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of them have. And this one has it too. So but it's it's been going okay for eight years, for seven years or something like that. So, you know, we were kind of uh, surprised that this happened. Yeah. Does he have to be on special cat food? Yeah, he has been for years now. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, you know, it's it's something that we have to deal with from time to time. I just hope you know it stays uh, it stays like it is. <laughs> I hope so too. I hope so too. They can definitely be expensive, but they're worth they're worth it with the joy they bring us. Oh yeah, immensely, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And we've we've got two uh, two of these little fur balls, so yeah, we. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, I hope he he's on the men soon. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, so no, we I got. Know... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I, I know Rowan is also on his way. I just did a test session with him, so I'm pretty sure he should be here. It soon looks like he's well. coming up now. Yeah. I get two of you. Cool. Yes, you do. That's awesome. Uh, was that a surprise, or did you know that before? I did not know that. No, I actually had heard it was just going to be Rowan. So this was All right. a well, nice surprise to, to have you one. both. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Right. Um, hello, Rowan. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you too. Um, so yeah, you got 23 days before the album's going to be out. I have had the pleasure of listening to it multiple times. It's an incredible album for not knowing what you guys are talking about. I can listen to it over and over and get such a like peaceful um feeling throughout it. I don't know if that's part of of what you guys are are trying to present, but that's what I get. Well, thank you very much. I mean, it's always a compliment if you if, if you can listen to it over and over again, obviously. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> it's like peaceful, a journey. yeah. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, it's kind of like a journey, too. I mean, um, hmm. you know, with folk metal, I, I'm always going to identify it with Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. And I, <laughs> oh, my watch is trying to talk. Um, and it almost um, felt like I was just like hanging out with dwarves every time I, I turned it on, you know, it was, maybe that's why right. it's peaceful and comforting for me. Well, there you go, Rowan. Your New Zealand story is uh, rubbing off, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your New no, Zealand I, story. I think you. I think you. Uh, um, when you listen to it, and uh, I think that's always what we aim for is to uh, to create uh, a journey through music. So um, you know, you have the really fast stuff in it, and you have the the more melancholic and the more aggressive stuff in it, and then. At the end, there's just a nice uh, acoustic uh, thing going on. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I like you have a, a few uh, acoustic ones in there and um, they are they're placed so perfectly in between the other ones where, um, you know, you're feeling that that energy and that heaviness and then mm -hmm. it like rocks back into like just kind of that peaceful oh, yeah. setting. And we absolutely like to play, you know, with the, with the contrast between the two. I think but it works together. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think the contrast is what makes you know the other side of it stronger. You know, it complements each other mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah, yeah, and the harmonizing vocals, um, I, they're just some of the best I've heard. Um, it really is like a soul, um grasper you know every time i hear uh -huh. those harmonies i 
it's like my my like my soul just like opens up more and, and it's um I'm oh, saying wow, these things really compliment. weird but it you know it's an emotion right it's hard to explain uh -huh. <laughs> oh that's a huge compliment I mean especially because you know that's kind of one of the trademarks of, of, of Heidevolk is having the the, the the dual male vocal thing going on you know like like we always do Mm -hmm. So if that is the, the response that we get from that, you know, that's spot on. Yeah, that's you guys it. are incredible at what you do. You really are. I um, When I got the album initially, I, I mean, I jumped on it. And usually I have emails come <clears throat> all day, every day. And sometimes, you know, I have a, a daytime job that sometimes I just don't have time to go through them. But as soon as I saw that one come through, I was like, all right, I'm jumping on it. Oh, sorry, my dog oh, yeah. woke up. <laughs> <laughs> um. So Oh, that's good. Yeah. So uh, it's been five years since your last album. Have you guys been working on this album for five years? Or did you kind of take a little bit of a break before you started writing again? Well, I think uh, um, we, we have we have been working. I, I don't think you can say we've been working for five years on it. Um, of course, after a few of us, we did a lot of uh, touring um and then the the ideas started to uh to to yeah to roll inside our heads and um we took like an uh an official weekend uh with the band to start off the the process uh of making an album and we said to each other okay there is one important thing for this album and that is that we want to um write it um well we want to work on it in the rehearsal room, so with everybody present. Mm -hmm. And normally, uh, the, the last few releases, uh, um, um, I wrote uh, all the songs or most of the songs, and and I worked on it with uh, with with Jaco or with uh, a guitar player, and like in one on one sessions. Uh, and this time, um, we, you know, a few a few of us wrote the songs, and then we brought them to the rehearsal room, and we had to work on it together. So. When we uh, when we were getting to that, uh, COVID broke out. You know the, the the whole virus thing was going on. So the the uh, the scene of us being together in a in a rehearsal room was brutally disturbed. <laughs> right. We could uh, um, for the first uh, half year we couldn't we could not really see each other uh, only on like Zoom meetings and with that there were also the uncertainties of uh, of the people who have a day job or uh, um, who uh, were self-employed uh, of some were like losing a lot of work others were gaining so much work that they could not do uh, the music anymore so um, that kind of screwed it up so we plan to have it in like three years the new release but you know it got it got COVID delayed it took two years yeah Three years went to uh, to five years really quickly. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, can't help that, you know, the world kind of <laughs> shut down for a while. And yeah. I'm, you know, I is as awful as it's been. And um, there has been some really incredible music that's come out of it. I think um, bands have maybe had uh, more time to be able to work on some things and think, you know, and really um, collaborate as well as come up with some of those, um, you know, creative things. Plus, I mean, you got to have something to do, you know, even if you're, you're working a lot of hours or losing hours, you, you have to have something to do. And since music's so therapeutic, it seems like there's been some really incredible albums that have come out of such a yucky time. <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely, and you know, it, it gave you a lot of uh, opportunity to do some soul searching, you know. Yeah. And this is this is where a large part of the new album also uh, came from was that we all had uh, the yeah the time to to do that bit of uh, uh, you know self investigation and reinventing yourself and you know reinventing the world around you and figure out what's actually important stuff like that, you know, really. Uh, well, big themes, I think, in a lifetime. So that's, uh, yeah, it's been a big inspiration for uh, for the songs on Vedicare. Yeah, well, it seems like that's usually hopeful. I mean, that's what we can hope for is out of dark times comes some really beautiful things. I've I've read 
that there is a lot of insight and, and growth and like you said, self-reflection um, in this album. But unfortunately, <clears throat> I, don't, I only speak English and, and that's shame on me for, for not knowing more. But um, will, are you guys planning on, um, like you have in the past, like releasing English um, lyrics as well? for everything. We, uh, well, we, yeah, added, we added some uh, some liner notes to the... Uh, um, so that they should also be in the promo package. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I yeah, didn't yeah. see them. Yeah, but there should be a document with liner notes. If you don't have them, uh, warn me. I, could, uh, I can warn Mona that she has to put them inside. But... Uh, um, uh, and there will also be... Uh, Two songs that will be released in, uh, in English as well. Okay. They're, for now, they are only on the physical album. I, I guess uh, you don't have it on the on the promo yet. Uh, I don't think so. I didn't see um, that on there. Usually, I look to see if there's uh, lyrical content because I do like to dive into lyrics, especially when yeah. it comes to like storytellers. But I didn't see it on there. <clears throat> okay, I will. Uh, I will check. Uh, check it with Mona. But, uh, oh yeah. But yeah, the two, the two, well, let's say bonus tracks on the on the on the physical disc are uh, going to be in English as well. So yeah, there's a bit of everything. That's awesome. Well, I mean, it definitely doesn't take away from um, again the album or what you guys are doing because um, it's. I do I do like lyrics especially when they when people have something to say you know that I I feel is really important. Um, but you know the music is is what is what really uh speaks to your to your soul usually so um the album um does you know it doesn't take away not knowing it it, it still is is um yeah it's almost like you understand without understanding just through the music if that makes sense well good then at least we've got half a win already so that's good. <laughs> I don't. So, I think you guys are are full winners from from the early two thousand. Look forward 2000s. to the, to the lyrics. Full win, then, yeah. Uh, I think I think you're uh, you're right there as well because um, for us it's really really important to fit the music to the lyrics and the lyrics to the music. And you know, even though we are aware that the world around us doesn't speak Dutch. <laughs> um, we try to uh, convey the stories uh, in the music as well. So yeah, no, I think and the and the uh, videos as well are are beautiful. I I'm gonna butcher <laughs> the name of uh, the videos, but the the one with Valhalla, um, that one was it's just such a a beautiful representation of what you guys are not only playing but what you guys are talking about i um got myself super choked up because i didn't know where which direction it was going and by the yeah. end of it i was like oh my gosh and it but it's done so beautifully well like it's it's um not a sad video you know no no, no, no. no i don't think it's a sad <laughs> video at all i yeah. mean in the end yeah <laughs> yeah you yeah. know it, it talks a lot to uh, um uh, to living and having lived uh, a full life and uh, not um, not mourning that of course you're, you're you will mourn the dead but they will they will live on in stories then they will live on i mean oh, we we portrayed it as uh, valhalla and he is drinking with uh, with the gods and with the uh, other fallen warriors but you know the the people will tell stories about him so he's never forgotten right it's kind I of a circle that. of life thing in a way yeah yeah it was done so so well um music all the way to video now tell me about uh, see if i can pronounce this right uros 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 <laughs> tell me about uros. that song i love that song <clears throat> tell me about the inspiration behind that and what it's about if you don't mind <clears throat> yeah sure yes you want to start with that one? <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> I wrote I wrote the lyrics to that. So, oh. <laughs> um, uros is uh, um, it has two meanings. Uh, it's like an aurox, which is a uh, um, uh, well. We have cows now, but they had ancestors, and they were big, and they were roaming the woods and uh, and the, the the lands. And um, 
Urus is also like, uh, um, help me here, Jaco, uh, like a power inside you, like the um, uh, primordial. Kind of kind of force of life within you you know some, something that you re you gain as you know a rite of passage if you uh go from boyhood into manhood you know something that um that's deep within you but you know spawns when you when you grow up yeah. does that make sense it does. the sound ur is in it which is like a, a primordial power and um the the song is about uh that that the, a boy has to kill the Aurox, he has to uh, uh, hunt it uh, to turn into a man. And um, like Jaco said, as a rite of passage, but it's like, for us, it's like you have to overcome, so you have to prove yourself, you have to overcome things, et cetera. So. Right. Huh. That's interesting. It reminds me. I don't. I don't know if you guys are are into this or have seen this, but have you guys seen the new um, Predator Prey? Oh no, I, I haven't. To be honest. Oh, okay. No. Well, the the <clears throat> it's a uh, um, Native Americans, and that's and that's one of the things that they focus on too, which I think is is um, yeah, just another really really uh, um, neat representation of things that. Um, maybe not to the literal degree, but uh, metaphorically experience in life, you know, and so anybody can um, identify with that, even if it's not to the literal sense, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah. um, primal force, that was the word I was looking for. It's a, like a primal force. But go on. Right. All right. Um, so how important is the insight aspect of the album with you guys, like you had mentioned, Yako, going through um, the self-reflection of, you know, 2020, 2021 of this whole pandemic, um, how important is that message that you guys are portraying in this album? Is it kind of secondary or is it something that is more of the, the forefront? <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's primary, actually, even. I mean, the whole, uh, the whole, uh, album title Vader, Vader Care uh, also reflects on that um, it is a reinvention of oneself and uh, you know like I, like I said finding out who you are what you are in this world and where you want to be mm -hmm. who you want to be who you want to be with you know the importance of family and friends and everything like that that takes the forefront of uh I think that the, the whole encompassing of the album. Yeah, yeah it's, that it's was a weird sentence. <laughs> you understand what I mean? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Different. Uh, I mean, that there were different uh, um, writers of lyrics uh, this time, and uh, we were all writing. And when we put down the the lyrics together, we we saw this, you know, the, this this main theme going on. And uh, it was this, uh, what Jaco says, this inward journey, this this odyssey of the self, uh, as we called it. Um, like and uh, yeah, and, and and it felt also really important during the the, the pandemic times, but also before the pandemic times, uh, when you saw there was a lot of uh, polarization uh, already with uh, people attacking each other on uh, on the internet um people pushing you into a corner uh, you have to be either this or that you are for or you're against you're this or that and uh it felt like it was time to reflect on yourself and take a step back think on who you are uh, what drives you uh, what is important to you and don't get pushed into uh, a saying something having to pick a side yeah or right. having an opinion on something that you that you don't know anything about. I mean, it's okay to have not to don't have an opinion on stuff. Right. I'd rather have that people have less opinions. Oh my gosh, I could not agree more. I think that's <laughs> um so so important for people to hear, um <clears throat> and really like like you said, take a step back and think about and digest because it's almost like people are molding into each other versus um remembering who they are you know or who they want to be it's interesting yeah 
it's it's funny who how people um, they are being lived instead of you know uh, uh, trying to live for themselves. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. it's, it's really easy nowadays to get trapped inside of a of, of a a bubble, a bubble of thinking, a bubble of, of social interaction. You know, because you know it's the way uh, you know social media feed, uh, feeds on it, and, and you know stuff like that. So sometimes it's it's really a struggle to not be pushed into one direction or the other. But you know there can be several scales of gray in between. You know, absolutely. And yeah. it's all right to you know just just be there for yourself as well right yeah and it's okay to say I don't have an opinion or I don't know on things and it's it seems like that's a, a tough thing for yeah for people or let's agree to disagree it's also fine you know right doesn't Absolutely. mean that you have to kill or hate each other right yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah that's been one pretty um crazy thing I think that's come out of the the pandemic is it's like everybody was isolated and instead of like this coming together that I don't, I don't know why, but I kind of anticipated to happen because I guess it's a dark area of time. So you just kind of think that people are going to come together throughout that, like they have in other um, situations and boy, it does not seem like that's what, no, no. that's what well, happened. The other <laughs> side of the mill is that people get into a state of self-defense. Yeah. So, you know, they, they get uh, defensive about practically everything because they yeah. feel threatened right threatened their, in, in their existence and you know so yeah that's that's the other side of the coin yeah oh my gosh yeah I couldn't agree more so with that I ask a lot of musicians this question because I think it's a really important question um we it's hard not to get caught up even in just the frustrations of seeing what's going on without even necessarily participating which we all have participated at times as well but um what do you guys do to kind of protect yourselves to re-energize? I call it self-care. What are some things you guys do as that kind of that protective layer to, you know, um, help yourselves be in a better mental state with all that going on around? <clears throat> on a personal level, you mean? Yes. Oh, I think we all've got uh, all have our uh, our our, uh, our own ways of dealing with that. Uh, I mean, I like to go out into the nature. Uh, have, have a couple of walks uh, stuff like that um i like to lose myself into uh what, what's it what's it called um nostalgia mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know stuff like that and uh, you know Rowan, you, you have your own uh things that you like to do yeah, yeah well uh for me personally uh I get out of Facebook and I rant and I rant and I rant. No, just kidding. <laughs> you troll. <laughs> I tell everybody that they're wrong and how terrible they are. Exactly. <laughs> Telling everybody they should have an opinion on things they don't know. About. <laughs> no, but uh, um, I, I, I go in, uh, I live really close to nature. Like a five minutes walk and then I'm into uh, forest. Actually, I live uh, really close to the value. Um, and... Uh, I take a walk over there. I mean, I try to spot some wildlife, uh, uh, and you know, I have uh, I have this uh, this home now. Right now, I'm in the basement, and it's quite a big basement. And I've got lots of instruments over there, so I can be here like all day. And then I will go up to sleep, and then I'll be back here. You know, <laughs> you're in your dungeon. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just making music. Yeah. You're not allowed to call it the dungeon, so. <laughs> no. Well, as long as there's no dragons in there, then I think I think you're okay. Who knows? But... Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think nature's uh, uh really. It's interesting that you guys both said that because I ask a lot of musicians there uh, the same question, and some of them um will respond nature, but not as many as I as I anticipated, um because I think that that's one of the most healing things, you know, is being yeah. um. I don't know what it is about it. It's it's, it's quiet. It's a, it is a primal thing, actually. Mm -hmm. Seeing seeing parts of nature like every day eases the brain. This is actually yeah. hmm. scientifically proven. Yeah, yeah. And I, f I think it's something you know that that's kind of well, I wouldn't say eternal, but something that spans way way beyond you know the human existence. I mean, there have been nature before us there will be nature after us you know so uh, in the end that's that's the, the you know the force that will remain so it kind right. of keeps you grounded 
Right. Yeah. Those are two just wonderful perspectives. I, um, I know you guys have oh, probably lots of interviews, but I, I could sit here and talk to you guys forever about these things because you have such amazing, um, yeah, uh, concepts on it. And, and, um, it's such an important topic, you know, that I think a lot of us don't discuss enough. That's, that's one of the reasons why I bring up self-care because a lot of times I'll get like the deer in the headlights look of, well, what even is that? You know, I, I don't know. I probably should do that, you know, and that's usually the response. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. I don't have time for self-care. That's, that's the, that's the response. Right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but it's really important. I, I think for mental us. health is, is also, you know, the awareness of mental health is also on the rise, maybe because of, you know, what happened the last couple of years. Yeah. I think that's, that's a really good way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm actually a mental health therapist outside of this. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's interesting because like a lot of my, especially younger and adult clients even will say, oh, well, I heard on TikTok or, oh, well, I learned on TikTok. And at first it used to really bother me. I'm like, why are you getting, you know, therapeutic advice off of, off of TikTok? But then I finally started going, no, this is good because they're talking about it more and they're, they're yeah. thinking about it more and they're trying to understand themselves better ourselves. I mean, well, you know, true. me just as much. Yeah. So there's... Absolutely true. Just don't get your facts from there and believe yeah. it's all true. <laughs> yes. Don't self-diagnose. <laughs> Dr. Google said, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't ask Dr. Google. They <laughs> <laughs> yeah. probably have cancer in three answers. Yeah. <laughs> I have been feeling really depressed for a week. Well, it's because you have cancer. <laughs> oh. <Exactly. Yeah. laughs> um, okay. So I have... <clears throat> a really fun um, game that I play called mixtape that has different um, like scenarios on cards. And what your job is on this is to pick the song that best fits the situation. So the situation is you have a lap. What's that? Can be any song. It can be any song. Yep. So you have a loud obnox obnoxious neighbors living above you. What song do you play at a high volume to get back at them? Uh, probably something by Flash God Apocalypse or something. <laughs> like really loud and aggressive. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I, th I think I would go for, for, I would, you know, listen to the whole album of uh, like Motley Crue, Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> Just to bounce it to the room and say hey i'm still feeling good here no, no worries they might join in though they might join in and start singing along and partying harder that would be that's good what neighbors. Holy Cruise about. <laughs> that would be that would become a party <laughs> right <laughs> like, then you just go up there and you join them <laughs> yeah and then you well, go maybe this, maybe this is a bit of a difference between the Roland's neighbors and mine i think <laughs> well he I doesn't have any neighbors he's in the dungeon <laughs> I don't have any no, that's actually true. I don't have names. <laughs> no, and I live in a very crowded area in uh, oh. in Rotterdam. So yeah, no, it's it's really no comparison. Oh my gosh, you, you really need nature then, because there's there's way oh, too yeah. many people surrounding you. So it's like oh, needing yeah, to absolutely. get that break from people. <laughs> Bring on the self care. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, yeah, like I said, I know you guys have um, a probably pretty busy day. I, I so appreciate you both being here and, and discussing some really important topics with me. I, I'm sorry we didn't dig more into the album. That is just incredible. I'm excited to keep being able to listen to it. Um, I definitely will be getting myself a copy. Um, but in the meantime, I hope that the interviews go easy for you guys. And congratulations on the upcoming release. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful album. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for having us. Yes, absolutely. Anytime. Hopefully we'll be able to chat again in the future. That would be great. Awesome. Absolutely. Have a good day, guys. All right. Absolutely. See ya. Bye. Bye. Cheers.